It's the spring of 1974. Freedom is in the air. A people in Portugal has placed Mozambique on the brink of independence. And it is in this climate of change, of hope and anticipation for the future, that AI begins its work. While soldiers in Portugal were consolidating their revolution against the remnants of the country's right-wing dictatorship, AI was in talks with liberation movement leaders from Mozambique and from Guinea-Bissau and Angola. The discussions were about how best AI could help them meet the manpower needs of their soon-to-be independent nations. The euphoria of independence was soon overshadowed by its reality. The Portuguese departed abruptly and completely, leaving the country in chaos with very little of the human capital of infrastructure required to run itself. But Mozambicans are nothing if not resilient. They have survived civil war, they have survived natural disasters, and with their eyes firmly fixed on the horizon where the sun rises over the Indian Ocean, they have made Mozambique one of the fastest growing countries on the continent. Mozambicans have a saying, se o passarinho engordou, é porque procurou comida para si mesmo. If the little bird has got fat, it's because he found himself some food. Africa's hunger is not just for food in the literal sense. It is a hunger for knowledge, for education, for leaders, doctors, lawyers, engineers and civil servants, whose contributions in their respective fields will help move the continent forward and establish its global competitiveness. AI is very pleased, through the programs that we have run from the 70s onwards, to provide Mozambicans, among others, with education, training and skills needed to satisfy this hunger. It is with pleasure that we introduce you to several of the little birds that have benefited from our work and continue to define our raison d'être. Meet Paulo Zucula. Paulo trained as an agronomist but became an expert in systems design and logistics. As director of the National Disaster Management Institute, he restructured Mozambique's emergency and disaster response and relief efforts. And today, he is Mozambique's Minister of Transport and Communications. Lara Carrillo works to fight hunger with the World Food Programme in Mozambique. As the World Food Programme Vulnerability Analysis and Mapping Officer, she analyzes trends to predict food shortages, monitors the impact of food aid during and after natural disasters, and works with officials of the government of Mozambique to ensure food security. Maria Paula Travassos Dias, oversees quality control for all of Mozambique's laboratories dealing with animals, genetics, soil, nutrition and food. Emilio Tostão is a professor of agricultural economics of the Eduardo Mondlane University Faculty of Agronomy and Forest Engineering. Anabela Mabota helps poor Mozambican farmers adopt effective methods and identify markets for selling their products. Lorenzo Lázaro Magaia is a professor of mathematics at Eduardo Mondlane University. He also advises both the private and public sectors on how applied mathematics impacts everything from the manufacture of medicines to weather forecasting. As you can see, our little birds have not only found food, they are in full flight. To those who ask, but how can your country progress when it has so many problems? Mozambicans pose one question. A machamba acaba num dia só? Does the work on a farm finish in one day? Mozambique is not all that it needs to be, but AI is helping Mozambique to get better every day. <laughs> Shall we? Dandy, I'm a soko, a boy, it's a winner.